Hey there, Racer Rob and the team down at Integra Auto Care, and today's patient is a 2003 Ford F550 Super Duty with the uh, electronic control injection. Customer's complaint is a uh, rough idle, intermittent missing loss of power, and uh, I'm kind of going to give you another behind the scenes look at the cool technology and what it takes to, to fix today's vehicles and how. Uh, I consider a diagnosis vehicle that's sitting outside my bay by the wireless setup on my newest diagnostic piece of equipment, the Snap-on workstation with the Veris Pro. So even with all this technology, you got to stick with the basics. So let's dive right on in. So basically, there's uh, the main complaint is uh, rough idle, low power. And I'm kind of going to walk you through here, so this is pretty cool. There's a hot rodder going by. So the first thing it did, did was I test drove it and verified the complaint, and it feels like a, a misfire. So then you run some diagnostics. And I went into the uh, codes menu. Most of the systems, they have a self-diagnostics on there. Now, I've cleared the codes because I wanted to see if they came back. It's only been running for a short time, so let's see if there are any codes. Okay, the codes have not come back yet, but it's only been idle in a few minutes here. So, I will show you the codes that I had. There was two main codes. A P0404 EGR Performance. And I like to keep things simple. This is for my customers and other technicians that uh, want to understand what it takes. Now, here, this is, this is going to be a tricky one. So, two codes. And understanding the basics here, EGR valve is basically exhaust gas recirculation. It takes exhaust gases and the computer controls when this EGR valve is activated and it induces exhaust gases back into the intake to reduce NOx gases or emissions in the combustion chamber. The other code was P0269 cylinder contribution balance test. Now this is all diesel, electronically controlled, very hard to troubleshoot, but I'll tell you for my fellow technicians that are thinking about getting the Veris Pro workstation, it's about 15 grand, but let me show you it's worth every penny to help you educate your customers and do better repairs because here's a cool test that's built into the system. So go back to the codes, fuel injection control, function tests. These are all the tests I can do. I, I'm not going to do it on this video because I like keeping them simple and one at a time, but I was able to test the EGR valve as well. I did a test on the injectors, um, the turbo boost. All this can be done inside the uh, engine compartment with my scanner. So cylinder contribution kind of gives you an idea of what it's designed for, contribution of each idle. It tells me which one's cylinder number three. Now the thing I love about this is here's how the old systems works number one you have even though the screen is bigger and color man there's nothing like having this big monitor here for both you and your customers and the coolest thing is let's go here and let's pop up the suspect cylinder and one next to it let's do another one and another one so right away, keeping things simple. Let me shut my, oh, I can't shut my light off. We'll just have to deal with it. So as you'll see, cylinder number seven, top left. Minimum, maximum, about one. Now the higher the percentage, the less it's contributing. Number eight, eh, minus five. Well, and that's, uh, you gotta remember the sense got 160,000 miles on it. Now you come down to number three, and at idle, it's minus 12. Same thing for cylinder number four. And you can see how these are relatively digital on off kind of thing, but cylinder number three is always missing and acting up. 
and you can physically hear the motor too. So that right there tells me that cylinder number three is having trouble contributing. Now here's where I'm kind of a straight shooter too. You've got the book way of doing thing. Now no offense to Pro Demand, they've got some great information, but as you can see, just check that exhaust flow. There are one, two, actually five pages of pretty in-depth, very time-consuming tests. And we all know with customers, price is always at the top of their mind in diagnostics, so I highly recommend that if you haven't already, technicians, do your reading, doing your studying on your own time at night, because I'll tell you, even though you make the initial investment at night on your own time, your rewards will pay off in dividends with the information. These are two good books that I've used in the past to do this stuff. So try not to rely on just these. Use more of your experience um, and things like that because between the two of these, this is for the Misfire and the EGR, man, that could take hours and hours. So here's the part I love, the condensed version of 35 plus years of experience. The very first thing I'm gonna go after is the cylinder contribution injector issue. Uh, compression's good, no vacuum leaks, fuel pressure is good. All of the systems are good because it's only got one misfire. Now, if it had multiple misfires or other codes, I'd worry about fuel pressure, things like that, but it's only one cylinder and one injector, and these are known for injector problems. So I'm gonna recommend that we do a, cylinder, a, a injector replacement now, be very careful about going after the EGR performance because going back to the basics, there's eight injectors in this motor and one cylinder is acting up. So, this problem could be causing the EGR performance problem. That's how I'm gonna sell it to the customer. You know, honestly, and they'll appreciate you for that and say, we're gonna repair this one first. This problem could be causing this false code. Now it does have 160,000 miles on it. These EGR valves are known to get clogged up with carbon, to things like that, because it's basically an exhaust flow. So our recommendation on this one is going to be the uh, injector replacement. And at the same time, I'm gonna have my awesome tech take off this EGR valve, check it to make sure it's clean, and all the ports are good, and leave it at that and tell the customer, hey, we fixed this problem, and um, this may or may not come back, but you're basically saving them money if it doesn't come back. Because I love to test, not guess. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, I basically wanted to show you some of the systems behind the scenes customers that think, oh, you know what, I'm gonna just have it plugged into a machine, maybe even checked for free at a parts store, and it'll tell me a code and tell me exactly what's wrong with it. That is not the way to correctly fix cars. You're better off finding a good technician that has the systems, has invested in the equipment. Like I said, this is 15 grand, but it's worth every penny because it allows me to graph and test things while the noisy diesel is outside. So once again, kind of a behind the scenes, here's the diagnostic equipment, operating table there. And uh, I'll spend just a little bit more time showing some of the behind the scenes stuff here. A turbo boost test. This also looks a little bit low. These turbos have been known to carbon up. So I can sit here and test it and increase the turbo boost. And what we're looking for is the manifold pressure to increase, which it's a little bit light. Yeah, very suspect on that too, because it's not even going up. But once again, we're gonna go out there, there it is just a little bit. Probably rev it up too, that makes a difference, but that's just a quick example of another test that you can do. Control the fuel pump, injector buzz test, injector disable commands. 
things like that. But like I said, to keep this simple, it's been about 10 minutes. That is an overall picture of what it takes to test the uh, rough idle on a 2003 Ford F550. And not to get confused by multiple codes. So we're gonna fix this first, clean this out, and see where that takes us. So once again, Racer Rob and Tigger Auto Care showcasing the uh, Snap-on Verus Pro wireless scanner that basically you would hook your, there's my awesome technician, hook your controller there that wirelessly contributes and uh, sends data to the scanner and I can sit there and use my operating table to fix cars. So that's pretty much it. Racer Rob and Tigger Auto Care over and out. Until next time, we're just going to keep fixing these crazy complex cars. Take care.